from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. COVID numbers are leveling out. Panelists discuss Virginia's school-to-prison pipeline and your chance to turn a lap or two on your feet at Richmond Raceway. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. COVID-19 cases in Henrico continue to level out. The county reported 41 new cases yesterday. Its seven-day average number of daily new cases is now at 56. There was just one new hospitalization and no new deaths related to the virus in the county yesterday, according to the Virginia Department of Health. And the average positivity rate during a seven-day period is about 5% for PCR tests and about 6% for rapid tests. More than 82,000 people in Henrico have now received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine, and just shy of 43,000 have received full inoculation at this point. Henrico police need your help to find a man who robbed a Willow Lawn area business earlier this month and then stole an employee's car. It happened on March 3rd, a little after 7.30 p.m., when police were called to a dog daycare business in the 4900 block of West Marshall Street. That's where a white male suspect had reportedly stolen money and the vehicle. The suspect then changed clothes after the robbery, according to images released by police. You can see images of the suspect at our website, HenricoCitizen.com, by clicking on News and then Crime. If you have details, call Henrico Police at 501-5000 or Crime Stoppers at 7801000, or you can visit P3Tips.com. Both Crime Stoppers methods are anonymous. And police are also seeking the public's help in identifying a suspect in two commercial burglaries that took place March 14th. In both cases, the suspect entered a business when it was closed in the early morning hours. The first incident occurred in the 5000 block of Cabela Drive, that's in the far west end off Broad Street. At about 1.30 a.m., the second took place nearly two hours later in the 6000 block of West Broad. The suspect is male. He was wearing all dark clothing and gloves. Again, you can see images of him at our website, HenricoCitizen.com, by clicking on News and then Crime. If you have any details, again, call Henrico Police. This time, the number is 501-7395, or you can call Crime Stoppers at 7801000 or visit p3tips.com. Now, the school-to-prison pipeline was the focus of a recent University of Richmond Law School online event that featured presentations and nine panelists. The terminology is used to describe suspension and expulsion rates that are disproportionately weighted against black students and others of color, as well as those with disabilities, according to the U.S. Department of Education. Those punishments, along with arrests that take place at schools, often lead to students having criminal records. UR law professor Julie McConnell said the origins of the pipeline are decades old. She's the director of the school's Children's Defense Clinic, a program through which law students represent indigent children in court. A 2019 Commonwealth Institute for Fiscal Analysis and Rise for Youth report found that black children between the ages of 15 and 17 made up 21% of the state's overall population during the 2016-17 school year, but they accounted for a whopping 57% of students who were suspended statewide. Black teens also made up 49% of the state's minors reported to juvenile courts by school authorities and 54% of minors detained in local jails, according to that report. To read more from the recent online meeting, you can visit HenricoCitizen.com and click under News on Education to find this article. Metro Richmond loves its racing, both on the track and off, or in this case, on the track and on. Richmond Raceway and the Virginia Beef Council have announced a new running event called the Beef Up Your Health 10K. It will serve as the official kickoff to the fall NASCAR race weekend, September 10th and 11th. It will take place August 28th at Richmond Raceway on the track. 
The 10K will begin at 8.45, a 5K will begin at 9, and a one-mile kids run will start at 8.30. The race will start and finish at the, you guessed it, start-finish line. Runners also will get a running race tour of the Raceway Complex facility, including the track's campgrounds. You can register at richmondraceway.com backslash beef up your health. If you know someone looking for a job, here's a tip for them. Domino's is holding a hiring day on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The 34 participating stores in the greater Richmond region are looking to hire about 325 new team members. Positions include delivery drivers, customer service representatives, assistant managers, and general managers. You can visit jobs.dominoes.com to learn more. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County's COVID-19 Emergency Rental Assistance, providing assistance for those who have experienced economic impact related to the virus, such as job loss or furlough. Applications are available at henrico.us backslash DSS or by calling 501-5294.